What's up guys? Today we are watching episode 6 of Peaky Blinders. So, last episode ended up being like the best episode by far for me because Grace and Tommy finally got together. I shipped them. I've shipped them since the beginning even though Grace was kind of like two-faced. Still kind of is because Tommy doesn't know but she's gonna, well he's gonna figure out eventually so we'll see how that goes. Also, Camp Bell kind of proposed to Grace, which caught me off guard because it's like, you never showed interest before like that, so why now? You know? Still blows my mind. But also, the boys' father came back and he was suspicious since the beginning. And my suspicions ended up being true because in the end, he ended up being a piece of shit. And I felt bad for Arthur, but he seemed to have a good in the end at like the end of the episode with Tommy. So we're going kind of good so far. So let's get into the episode. What is he going to do? Steal their jackets? We don't open two more hours. You come back later. Police. Oh, so he's probably just going there to look for Tommy or Tommy and them. Any troubles? Of my officers, that people come here. That man come here for a certain purpose. What's going on? We're doing it today. Doing what today? Dealing with Billy Kember? Could have been anyone. Get dressed. We're doing it today. As a matter of fact, he's doing me today. Make sure he's done you by nine. <laughs> I know how he is. And he does what he does for us. I think. <laughs> Amen. Mr. John said that you're a special, special customer. What's about to happen? Do you want to sit? It's okay. Sometimes old men who lost their wives, they come here all the time. Old man. I'm so old. Damn. I mean, I am young. Those kind of services. Okay. He's not there because you rejected him. Oh. Fuck off. You have betrayed every principle and standard of honor. That was your birthright. <laughs> and for what? Love. Love. Wait, is he still there? So they're in the same place, technically? It's curious, Inspector. I thought you came here to clean up the city. Not to sleep with his whores. This would be the opportunity for him to tell him about Grace. Before the day is over, your heart will be broken. Just the same as mine. Because he's gonna tell him about Grace. Always be alone. I was a child myself then. 
You never talk about them. You've had reason to. What happened to her kids? Heart breaks even when I think about them. They took my children from me. Uh, they never told me where they took them. So they're not dead. They're just... She just doesn't know where they are. Well, my Freddy's rotting in jail because of him. There's something about today you need to know. How is Freddy? We haven't seen him since like episode four, I think. In prison. You plan on killing him? I told the Prime Minister first. Was she involved in the discovery? He's not going to give her up. Kind of Even though that he's mad that she turned him down. The yeah, I have plans. The Peaky Blinders. What do you plan on doing? Because this is the day we replace Billy Kimber. This is the day we become respectable. The day okay. we join the official National Association. Now, our kin, I interrupted those efforts this morning, and uh, I can assure you all. <laughs> John is making great sacrifices. <laughs> Run peacefully. And uh, what about Kimber himself? I'll deal with Kimber. Any other questions? Meaning you'll kill Kimber? Yes. We named him Carl. After Carl Marx. Carl <laughs> bloody Marx. Can you get a look? Okay. It's true. Thank you, Tommy. I'm happy that they're not fighting anymore. So who the hell are you? Told me to volunteer for this. Who did? Peaky Blinders. So he's not gonna die. They're gonna break him out. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. What bloody hell is that? Looks like your friends are here. I was about to say, is that the guy that Tommy saved and let stay alive? I am sorry about this, comrade. Next family meeting. I'll make sure you're there. If I were family, but I'm not. You are. I could change. You wait to get home for me. What time do you call this? <laughs> the barony is changing. She was just trying to tell him that it was her. You help yourselves. Tell me the truth is, when you come back from the races, I won't be here. What are you talking about? She's leaving. To hide? I said, no, you want. We know each other. We can talk. We're the same. Um, but you don't I know. Know. So he's not going to know until after or something, if she's still here. Love, is that barmaid? I'll do with Grace. If you set eyes on her again, you might kill her. Shit. I didn't think she actually told Billy Kimber though. She didn't, right? She was only talking with other dude, Campbell. And the right to use force. So please, step out of my way. Like I say, instinct's a funny thing. You fell for Tommy for real, didn't you? It's gone. It's 
How could you not? I'm afraid of you. I feel sorry for you. There are fights. I'm from a tough family too. Probably scary. We women have more sense. You saved his life the night the coppers came. That's why we're drinking, not fighting. We owe you. So you're gonna just hear her out? What was he like? I will never forgive you. Or accept you. Or take you in. And it's me who runs the business of the heart in this Damn, Polly. But as far as I'm concerned, maybe that'll change. Maybe what really upsets you is the thought that one day you might lose him. It's kind of true because she was saying earlier that Tommy basically kind of holds this family together, but. To never pick up a weapon again. But can you ask him from me if you can help us today? God says he don't deal with small leaves, sir. Good man. I like how respectable he was with that. Approaching the city should not be impeded. What the hell is going on? Let dog eat dog. Let the beasts devour each other. And let them kill each other. And then we shall pick the bones. You're not accustomed to not getting what you want, are you, Tommy? I wish... I wish he would have, like, at least hear her out. I feel like they should talk about it. Maybe they will. She's in the past. The past is not my concern. I just had something good. What is your concern, Tommy? You notice how Kimber is behind all of his men, yet Tommy's like straight in front of his. Oh, now he seems to be in the front. Okay. Let's use proper guns. <laughs> Reporting for duty, sir. Hell yeah. What are you doing? I believe you boys. <laughs> <laughs> Aiden just walks in the middle. It should just be them who's caused it. <laughs> Hell nah. Mm -mm. He ain't dying. There's more seasons, but still. Get off. Point blank period, shot your ass, okay. Now the other dude is actually dead instead of his fake death and Tommy got that dude with a freaking headshot. I want to ask you one question, then I'll leave. Tommy knows who I am. What did you say to him? Nothing. What did you say to him? Surprisingly. To Danny was bang. Danny. Now we all die twice. <laughs> to Danny was bang. Come on. The day is ours. Let's celebrate. We seem to be in a better place now. So thank God. Yes, sir. I have made a decision about my future. 
You're gonna stay there. What exactly can I say? I don't know, Grace. I could tell you who I really am. I think I know who you are. Let her explain first. Circumstances are not important. Here it comes, Tommy. I love you. There it goes. That's quick, but... Away it goes. I have an idea. What kind of idea? Largest legal racetrack operation in the country. <laughs> Only the Sabinis and the Solomons are bigger than us boys. Hell yeah. There'll be others. Probably not. And I write without malice. I learned long ago to hate my enemies. But I've never loved one before. Perhaps that is what I will do again. Polly tells me you fell in love for real. And Polly is never wrong about matters of the art. Why are you there? No, 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 no. That cannot... That cannot be how the season ends. What a jealous fuck. Oh my god. I didn't think he was actually gonna shoot her, like... Aiming is one thing, shooting is another. But he actually pulled the trigger. Maybe he, like, shot past her head to like try to scare her or something I don't know I'm really hoping that he did not shoot her like that would mean that her and Tommy both got shot within the same day <sighs> where do I even start last episode is still gonna be my favorite this one was not bad, but it's like, Tommy did find out about, well, some of it. He doesn't know the whole story, but he knows, and they seem to, like, somewhat be in a good place, because he's not trying to kill her, but also not in a good place, because, you know, they're not together. And I thought she said that she was going to London, not New York. Or maybe there's a place in New York called London. I don't know. But it's like, I never thought that he would actually go there. Because, like, all his gang stuff is in Birmingham. Like, you expect him to just pick up and move. He has his family there, his whole business there, everything. So that'd be hard for, for him to do. Maybe he can go visit. But I don't see him, like, living there. Especially with the place that they're in now, like, again, they're, like, semi-okay. I just wish, I just wish they would have talked about it more, but I guess if Grace survives, they'll, like, get to talk about it more in the next season. I can't believe this shit was only six episodes long. Are all the seasons six up? wait, are all the seasons six episodes long? I don't know. I'm gonna look. I really hope she's not gonna die. I think one of my spoilers told me when she was gonna die. So, cause like I, I was just thinking about it in my head cause I thought someone spoiled, like the person who spoiled it for me said that she died from something else. I don't know. 
it's hard for me to forget about that shit. <laughs> but it's like, what a way to end a season. Imagine if the next season wasn't already out. I'd have to wait so long just to see the next episode. But if I really wanted to, I could start that bitch right now. <laughs> and I'm low-key tempted to. But I do have other shows to watch before I can get back, so... I guess, come back for season two. 